Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am great. I am back with a pretty awesome Dollar Tree haul for you. I'm going to call this one kind of a, a small but mighty haul, but found some great stuff that I want to share. So I'm going to start like I usually do with what was in my thumbnail. And in the Christmas section, they had come out with these. They're called Ornaments by Christmas House. There were three different variations of them, but I thought these would make great gift tags, like just to hang on a gift to make them look prettier. And they are gorgeous. And I couldn't decide which, which variation of it I wanted, so I got one of each. And these ones have jingle bells. And they're, they look like little houses with bows on the top, little jingle bells, and they say different things. This one says Mary, this one says peace and joy. So, okay, that's what they say. Mary, peace, and joy. Then you get six in here. Those are pretty. And they do have hang cords already attached. And they would look beautiful on a Christmas tree as well. So that was the first variation. And they're like the wooden. These are like wood stuff, whatever it is. And then they had this style, also a six pack. One says Farm Fresh, Merry Christmas, Peace, oh, Peace on Earth, Jingle All the Way. So it's the same three. You get two of each. Did that make sense at all? Also the little hang cords on the back. But I just thought these would look so pretty hanging on a gift bag or on a, you know, on a package. And these ones, oh, I just love them. I probably should have got two packs of these. These are that like galvanized tin or whatever it is. And they're little gingerbread people. There's a little Santa gingerbread and just a little girl. And they're so cute. And these ones have kind of candy cane swirled hang quartz. And they each also have a, a little saying on and I'm sure you could probably rip these things apart if you wanted them if you're like a junk journaler junk journaler and say peace joy and noel and you get two of each of those as well I love them so you make a really pretty Christmas tree with this type of this type of little ornaments so nice. And these were the only three that I saw, and they were just putting them out. So I'm assuming there's just these three, but I could be wrong. There could be there could be another another style of them. And if you know that, please let me know. Because I will be on the lookout. All right, which way should I go? Let's go ahead and get the food stuff out of the way. Kind of boring. I've been showing this a lot lately, but I love this stuff. This is the Azul Coconut, Coconut Water, I'm sorry, with pineapple. It is a 16.5 ounce can. I love this. I have one, probably one every third day, something like that. But they're hard for me to find now. I'm finding the plain coconut water, but I'm having trouble finding the one with the pineapple. And they do have mango as well, but I, I like the pineapple better than, than the mango. Just a personal preference. This is so good. And I'll drink like half the can in the morning and then half the can in the afternoon. It's delicious. What are you guys, have you tried this? And what are your thoughts? I really like it a lot. And then I was just hungry for a little thing of pistachios and I had all intentions of eating these in the car and I did not. So I'll be probably having them for a snack here this afternoon. There's no shells on these, and these are just the roasted and salted, a 0.75 ounce little package, 120 calories, by the wonderful brand, which is an excellent name brand. Best buy on this is August of 24. These just make excellent little, you know, throw it in your purse, throw it in a lunchbox, book bag, whatever, nice little healthier snack. So yeah, I just, I was hungry when we were in the store, and and I didn't eat it. And then another snack. I love pretzels. Pretzels are a big thing in our family. Hubby does not like pretzels, but the grandkids love them. I love them. So I always keep pretzels on hand. And I think I passed off one of these bags to one of the kids when they were here recently. 
So I picked up another bag for myself and it's the Benzels brand. Absolutely love this brand. Best Buy is March of 24 and these will be gone long before that. And it's a nice big bag. It's an eight ounce package of the, the rods, the pretzel rods. Another thing to have here for the holidays, if you do the all the fancy decorating and make, you know, dip them in chocolates and sprinkles and things like that. I don't do that, but I should try it one day. And these are actually made in Altoona, Pennsylvania, one of my favorite cities in the world. And just absolutely love it. And Benzels makes excellent products. So if you ever see the, the Benzels brand in your area, wherever you are in the country, give them a try because I think you'll like them. I know I love them. But those are going to be just for here for probably Saturday is watching football, something to snack on. And that was it for the food, guys. In the crafty section, I found more iron-on patches. This one was the one that was on the end, right at the end of the peg. I had to get it. It's little dinosaurs. And if you guys have been following, you know our, our littlest grand lady loves dinosaurs. So I'm actually going to see if um, she has maybe a little jean jacket that my youngest daughter and, and then her daddy wouldn't mind me putting some patches on. I just thought it would be so cute. So we picked up, or not we, but I picked up one of those and there's a little T-Rex and she loves T-Rex. That's her favorite. So here's a little, little T-Rex and I don't even know the names of all these, all these dinosaurs. Is that a pterodactyl? I'm not, I'm not sure, but she is going to love this. And then I saw this one and thought it was super cute and it's all about space. It has a little astronaut dude on there and a rocket another type of spaceship and one of the planets. I thought that was cute. And four little iron-on patches in these for $1.25. I think that's excellent. And then the last one, it's love. And it's also four iron-ons. And it they're not really rhinestones on here, but they're like a, a silver little bump that looks like it would kind of shimmer in the sunlight. And I thought that was really nice. So I got one of those. So sometime this winter, that's gonna be one of my winter projects is I'm gonna dig out my old jean jacket and I'm gonna go ahead and start ironing on patches. But this one, I'm gonna see if if um, our youngest little grand lady has a jean jacket or sweatshirt or something that I could iron these on for her. And I know she'll absolutely love it. And then in the, I don't know what section you wanna call this, it's where they do their bug sprays and things. Guys, these are one of my favorite items recently. These came out late late spring, early summer, and I picked up some. I love these, and if you guys have any darker places in your basement or attic or whatever, and these were great. You, I put them there. I just literally just, I don't, I don't fold them up how they suggest. They suggest you kind of fold them up into a little house-shaped thing. I don't. I just take the, the protective film off and I just lay them in the, the darker, creepier areas that you don't know what's living back in there in our basement. These work and they work amazingly well. And then whenever you get little buggies on there, you can just pick it up, throw it away and put down a new one. I love these. And I believe it's a two pack. Yes, it's a two pack by Trap and Kill. The company name is... Enos. I'm not sure how to pronounce that correctly. I'm sure you'll correct me if I'm wrong. These are made in the USA and it says for spiders, silverfish, crickets, scorpions, and other crawling insects. And yeah, they're just so easy to use. You literally, I what I do, and it's a, a recommendation, I think on the back, I set them in the freezer for about five minutes. And when you do that, the peel, the protective coating just comes right off. And so I just peel that off and then I just go and sit it where I want it. And they work. I love them. So if you have bugs around, I highly suggest. And then in the like trash bag section, they had this. You only get 10 in here. So it's why I only picked up one, but I wanted to try them. They're garbage bags by Protecto Recycle. They're trash bags eco-friendly, made with 60% recycled material, and they're for the regular tall kitchen 13-gallon garbage bags. 
So I wanna go ahead and just give these a try and see how they work. And I liked it that they are, you know, eco-friendly and all that fun stuff. So yeah, I just picked up one box. If you guys have tried these, what are your thoughts on them? I never saw these in the store before. So yeah, let's go ahead and pop it open real quick just so I can let you know kind of what I, what I think of it just from this. They're kind of like an off-white color. Let's go ahead and they seem pretty sturdy. They have a slight scent of something. It, I don't think I saw anywhere on here that said there was a scent. But they definitely do have a slight scent. But no, they seem they seem sturdy, guys. So if you if you've tried these, let me know your thoughts. All right, one of my favorite things, it's been in the stores recently off and on, and I finally found it again, so I picked up two. I love this lip balm. This is in the fresh mint scent flavor. It doesn't really have a flavor though too much. It's hemp, lip naturals, and their hemp infused lip balm helps soften and moisturize, and it has hemp, coconut, and other natural oils, vitamin E, aloe, and beeswax formula, twist up twist up euro stick and it's a 1.2 let me repeat that a 0.12 ounce stick these are made in the USA i love these absolutely love them they work so well they just they moisturize my lips and they're just amazing and this little tube lasts a very long time so when I saw them, I grabbed two because I'm just afraid they're gonna disappear and then I'll never be able to find them again. And you know, for $1.25 for something that really works well, I think it's great. And I, I like the mint one the best. I believe it also is in strawberry, I think, but I really like the mint. So I picked up two. So just a kind of recommendation by me, I love those things. And then they had the vitamin C Serum, this is another thing that comes and goes because I think people realize what a good product this is. And it is by Skin Nutrition Botanicals, paraben-free, phthalate-free. It's vitamin C, 1%. And I love this. It is a little um, stopper style. You twist it off and then it has the little tube in there. I can't think what that's called. I love this. And I'm gonna show you something. I have been using it on the backs of my hands and I've kind of been experimenting. I've been using it way more on the back of this hand. I'm getting little age spots, sun spots, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to see if I can. I have a couple here. If you can see that, I don't know how I'm going to show this to you very well. A couple little sun spots there. They used to be that dark. Can you guys see how much they have faded? I know the lighting is horrible, guys, but it's working. They're fading. So I'm going to really start doing this hand, too. I just wanted to kind of test it, test the theory. And I have one of these already open. It's probably half gone. I've been doing this now for, I'd say, probably a month. So I'm going to start trying to do it on my face because I do have I do have a lot of discoloration on my face. And, you know, just sunspots grew up in the generation that we laid in the sun and we fried and it is showing on me. It is definitely showing. And I, if, if I can give one suggestion to any of you younger ladies that are watching, please take care of your skin. Take your makeup off every Stay out night. of the sun as much as possible. You need the sun. Of course you do. But protect yourself when you're doing it. Because it will, it will catch up. I promise you that. So yeah, I am loving this vitamin C. And for $1.25 at the Dollar Tree, I think it's a great value. I don't know how many ounces this is. It's a one ounce, but it lasts a long time. And it is a thicker version. I have tried vitamin C stuff in the past that has been almost like water and it's hard to work with because it's so runny. This is a little bit of a thicker consistency. I can't say it's a like thick, thick gel, but it doesn't run everywhere when you put it on. It'll stay, you know, a little droplet. So yeah, enough on vitamin C, sorry about that. And then they had these beautiful, big, these are big. I think they're just called a mug, but
but these I would definitely consider more of a like soup mug. These are big. I don't think it says the ounces. No, it's just called a mug. Microwave safe, dishwasher safe. These are massive. So I got one in red and one in white, and I'm actually gonna use these for a gift basket. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up some soups, cans of soups. And right now in the stores, they have um, the saltine crackers. Is it Zesta, I think, by Kellogg's? So I'm gonna make a gift basket of like a little soup gift basket. And I think I might pick up a thing of like the croutons, because a lot of people like croutons in their soup. So that's what I picked these up for. It's gonna be a gift basket. I just, I, these are nice. They are heavy duty, nice mugs. And of course, if you like a lot of coffee, these would be great for coffee as well. Or hot chocolate. You could do ice cream sundaes in these, whatever. They're beautiful. So, so well made. And again, always check the tops. Run your hand around the top, make sure there's no chips, and always check right around the handles of your mugs to make sure they're not, not cracking off. Beautiful. And these were the only two colors that I saw in these, so I don't know if there are other colors or not. It would have been pretty if they would have did a green one and had like red, white, and green. That would have been beautiful. So anyway, guys, that is it for this haul. I'm going to get all this stuff put away, move along with my day. I hope you're doing well. If you like this type of thing, please subscribe. Please check to make sure you are subscribed. And yeah, I'll talk to you again here really soon. Have a great day, everybody. Peace.